Hello, my name is Jean, a fourth year student at WITS, doing the high frequency course. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to build this, a self-grounded bow tie antenna. The antenna can work at both 2.4 GHz as well as 5 GHz. Now, the intention is to build this from simple materials, and in this case, I used a dry produce tin in Milo tin. Let's go and see how I did this. The first step is to make a paper template to transfer the antenna dimensions onto the metal tin. This is done using standard drawing techniques with a compass to draw arcs, distances and perpendiculars, a ruler for measuring distances, a pencil to draw and a scissors to cut out the template. Note the tip to tip dimensions is 140 millimeters and the width is 100 millimeters. The next step is to cut the dry produce tin. The bottom of the tin is cut out using a can opener. The resulting cylinder is cut at the seam using a bandsaw. The tin is then flattened as far as possible. A guillotine is then used to cut the antenna from the tin once the dimensions have been transferred from the template. A 2mm hole is drilled at one of the tips, a 5mm hole is drilled in the other tip, and an 8mm hole is drilled in the centre. The cable is then prepared, 2cm of the outer sheath is cut off the end, and the shield wire is twisted into two separate wires. 5mm of the inner sheath is stripped off the core, and the ends are all individually soldered. Now it's time to bring it all together. A small piece of insulation tape is placed around the inner sheath to prevent heat damage and shorting from the soldering. The plates are then pre-soldered and the cable is pushed through the center hole. The inner sheath is then pushed through the 5mm hole. The shield wires are then soldered onto this leaf. This leaf is then folded and rubberizing tape is added to the back for support. The other leaf is then folded and soldered on the inner core. The antenna is then shaped using pliers. It is important to note that the leaves must not short and the ground must not be touching the self-grounding plane. And that's how you build a self-grounded bow tie antenna. Now, if you wish to test this antenna, as in my case, I needed to get a special adapter to attach to a Wi-Fi router. And the simplest way to actually test this is to use a cell phone app that can actually register the um, strength of the Wi-Fi signal that you can receive from that router. Then you just simply connect this in and you essentially point it at your cell phone and you can then angle it and change the angle and as you're changing the angle you can measure the signal strength. Now in this case this antenna is actually orientated horizontally. You'll notice that the leaves are actually orientated horizontally and what you can then do is actually rotate it and then test it in its vertical orientation and do the same thing. Essentially you rotate this around about until you actually test the entire signal um, or directivity around this antenna. And that's basically how you would do it. And what you would find is that um, the performance of this antenna is very comparable to existing Wi-Fi router antennas. And in fact, in my case, with the particular router that I was testing, this antenna actually worked better. However, it does have a very good directivity, so it works very well in front of this antenna, but there is hardly any signal strength at the back. And that is something to keep in mind when you design antennas in general, is that the purpose of this antenna was to be quite directional, and that wasn't initially cleared, but it's something to explore as well when you do the testing. Anyway, I hope you had a very good time learning about this antenna and enjoy the rest.